hello students in today's class we'll see a problem on curve fitting using a geometrical curve the problem is an experiment on lifetime small t of cutting tool at different cutting speeds v in units are given below speed that is v 350 400 500 and 600 and life time will be in terms of time t 61 26 7 and 2.6 so fit a relation of the form v is equal to a into t raised to x so this is nothing but y is equal to a into x raised to b form only so here v is a dependent variable t is independent variable so y is equal to a into x raised to b form so it is they have taken v is equal to a into t raised to b form so solution so here the given curve is v is equal to a into t raised to b equation number one so we have to write a, a standard form for this that is capital v is equal to capital a plus capital b into capital t okay where 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 capital V is a nothing but where capital V is a nothing but log of small v then capital A is a nothing but log of small a then capital T is a nothing but log of small t and capital B is a nothing but small b so we need to prepare a normal equation to equation 2 so normal equation normal equation to equation 2 will be so summation of capital V is equal to n into capital A plus b into summation of capital T so this capital T you have to multiply on both sides summation of capital T into V which is nothing but A into summation of capital T plus B into summation of capital T square so we will give equation number 3 for this so based on this we have to prepare a table and summation and we have to apply these summations in equation number 3 we will prepare an equation with values those values uh, we we'll have to simplify, we will get the value of capital A and capital B. Let's see that table now. Now, the as per uh, this one, so this is V value, small t value, then capital V, which is nothing but log of small v, capital T, which is nothing but log of small t, then V into capital T, then capital T square so these many summations we needed here so I'll write down the summations so we needed summation of capital V then we needed summation of capital T then summation of capital VT then summation of T square we needed so with the help of this we'll just see the table now so small v values are 350 400 500 then 600 similarly the values of small t are 61 26 7 and 2.6 so again lan of v that is lan of 350 so which will be 5.85 lan of 400 will be 5.9915 lan of 500 will be 
four six lan of six hundred will be six point three nine six nine. Similarly, lan of small t, that is lan of sixty one, will be four point one one zero nine. Then lan of twenty six will be three point two five eight one. Lan of seven will be one point nine four five nine. Lan of two point six will be zero point nine five five. Five. Then, if you multiply this V into T, so V T values are twenty four point zero eight one two. Next multiplication is nineteen point five two zero nine. Next multiplication will be twelve point zero nine three. Next multiplication will be six point one one two two. Then T square value. So on multi multiplying this uh, t uh, square, so we'll get sixteen point eight nine nine five. Then ten point ten point six one five two. Next, if you square one point nine four five nine whole square will be. Three point seven eight six five, then zero point nine one three. So the respect to summations. So summation of V will be twenty four point four six zero nine. Then summation of capital T will be ten point ten point two seven zero four. Then summation of V T will be sixty one point eight zero seven three. Summation of capital T square will be thirty two point two one four two. So these are the summations. So these summations will apply in equation number three. Then we'll get the uh, values from equation number three. From those values. This equations uh, will solve it and will get capital A and B. Let's see that uh, A and B values here. Now, so I have recollected these values. So equation three becomes. So I will write uh, the arrange form and here remember so n values are four. So therefore, so n into A that is four A plus. So B into summation T that is ten point two seven zero four of capital B is equal to twenty four point four six zero nine, and the next equation will be ten point two seven zero four of A plus. Thirty-two point two one four two of B is equal to sixty-one point eight zero seven three. So these two equations we need to simplify. Uh, with the help of calculator, I will simplify this, and we'll get the value of capital A and capital B. So shift option five. Equation one. So values will apply here. Four. Second value is ten point two seven zero four. Then the constant will apply. So four equal to ten point two seven zero four equal to twenty four point four six zero nine equal to. Then second equation is ten point two seven zero four equal to thirty two point two one Four two, then sixty one point eight zero seven three. Then on simplification, the value of A will be the value of A we getting as six point five five three nine, and value of B once again you press so value of B will be minus zero point one seven. 
zero nine. If you round up, you will get this. So these are the values of a and b. But we know that capital A is nothing but log of a, and capital B is nothing but small b, or small a is equal to e raised to capital A. That is e raised to six point five five three nine. If you use the calculator for e raised to six point five five three nine, so you will get the answer as seven zero one point eight five nine seven six six this is the value of a you will get and value of b will be as it is from the given that is minus 0 0.1709 will get so these values we need to apply in the equation now that is equation one becomes so equation one is v is equal to a into t raised to b so v is equal to a value is a value is 701.9766 into t raised to b value is minus 0 0.1709 so this is the required fit For the given curve v is equal to a into t raised to b.